Hey vlog, it's Monday. I've just done the whole of Monday without recording a single thing. So I thought I'd show you exactly what I've uh, been planning today. First of all, that's all the LinkedIn content done. Uh, I've started a new series on YouTube. So we've got uh, our tips. So the main thing around this is to try and get some business owners on the channel as well. So uh, I've got this uh, up here. It's just something that I learned last week. I hope it helps. I'm doing these at shorter run time. So this is three minutes long and I'm gonna try and do tips now in three minutes. And then the longer form content obviously will be the vlog as always. But yeah, just trying to make these tips like super value packed, but less watch time. So you can just get the summary of it really quick. In planning this week, we're looking to finish the landing page. I want to try and launch the new website and automating the marketing. So guys, marketing at the moment is like a real hassle because every morning at eight at 7.15 a.m. or something, I have to log on, post it, reply to comments and stuff like this. And I was thinking about how can I automate this? Now, unfortunately, some of the apps that you can automate LinkedIn posts with it's hard to be able to upload a PDF or a video and have it automatically post. You can only do it with text posts from what I've been made to believe anyway. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But I'm now gonna outsource this to a VA who's going to not only focus on putting the content out for me every morning, but they're also then going to reply to any comments that I get, freeing up my time. Then I don't have to spend an hour every morning doing this. So, but my responsibility is to still make the content and then have that prepared and ready for the VA to then just start posting for me. So we're going to use Upwork for this. Uh, I have an account with them already. We're just gonna put together a quick job ads description. So we're just going through it now. I put the title as VA for LinkedIn posting and replying to comments. I uh, just put down some basic skills. So social media, virtual assistant, LinkedIn, administrative support. Scope, uh, it's small. I just need them to do it for a short amount of time. Uh, I'm looking for somebody intermediate, I think, because I don't want entry level people commenting on posts for me. I still need the, the comments to be of some use and as well as that to show that I'm still like, you know, with it <laughs> rather than being weird. We go worldwide and I can choose other regions as well, but I'm happy for anybody worldwide to, rep to reply to this. I think it helps the fact that I have to put these posts up at 7.15 a.m., 7.30 a.m. So by having somebody in a country that's ahead of my time zone, it will be the afternoon when they have to do this. So it should be really easy. If only we could teleport to the other side of the world to do that, hey? <laughs> hourly rate. So I don't actually know what the hourly rate here would be, but I'm gonna do between five and 15 bucks an hour and kind of see what we get. Actually, I tell you what, vlog, I'm not gonna set, I'm not gonna set it and I'll let them apply to it. Now we're gonna do the uh, job description. I like to use Google uh, Max dictate function for this. As you can see, as I write, it typed for me, which is really quick. So I'm just going to write out the post and then I'll show you it. So guys, I uh, just wrote it, it was really easy. Just want to make sure that whoever does take the job is confident in writing English because they'll be leaving comments on my account. I'm gonna be sharing my LinkedIn cred credentials with them so that they can log in. And I just need it to be like of genuine value or, or kindness, it's really important. I don't want comments which are just like, thanks for sharing on every single post. I think that's stupid. <laughs> so uh, they need to actually like say, you know, something nice about the comment that the other person put. I just put like a time block there so they understand that, you know, I think this is gonna take 30 minutes every day and I don't really anticipate them charging me for longer than that. And I, I would like them to not only give me a price, but why do they think they're a good fit for this job as well? It gets rid of a lot of copy and paste Upwork people who just copy and paste the same message to each job offering. And instead it actually makes them think about why they're a good fit. I'll then make sure that I pick someone who Explain themselves well, but is also of a good price. Hey vlog, it's Tuesday. This morning I'm going to be editing the vlog. The VAs that I put the ads out for yesterday, I got 46 proposals altogether. And now I'm going to be looking at a couple that I've shortlisted. I'm gonna spend this afternoon just going back through these applications and figuring out if they're good. A lot of the people who applied at different price ranges and such were really good, but the English, <laughs> in their message that they sent to me in their proposal was really poor. And obviously I said in the posting, I'm looking for somebody who can speak English very well. These are the five that kind of stood out to me that spoke good English and they I like their proposals, especially like this guy who really stood out. I can see that you're looking for someone to help you and they found your ace on that deck full of jokers. <laughs> what a great way to open up a proposal. So I definitely give Kevin uh, a, a go just because I really liked his proposal. I'm going to have a look at these later this afternoon. Also guys, 
We're going to be rebuilding one of my systems today with the new Coda beta. And I thought I'd do a little live stream. So I don't really anticipate many people joining because it's going to be in the afternoon, but it'd be great to uh, start doing a couple of live streams just to show you guys how I sort of work stuff in a live basis. I'll probably delete the video after, so there'll be no replay. But the idea is to do a few more live streams now. I enjoy working on stuff and talking to people at the same time. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see if any of you turn up. Um, and if you don't, well, <laughs> I'll just be talking to myself for an hour, I guess. <laughs> hey vlog, <clears throat> quick bit of lunch. Glad to see. <laughs> A vlog crazy morning replying to comments on LinkedIn. Uh, my posted poo yesterday, but this one's done really well. So uh, just making sure that I reply to everyone to keep the algorithm going. Yesterday we did a live stream guys. And as part of that, I remade my personal dashboard inside the new Coda beta. So now my entire dashboard runs off of one page and we're using side by side columns, which look really nice. You'll remember that I had a checklist for each part of my day. So I had the morning one, uh, which you all know. I had my comms one. I had my shutdown session one. And then we've got a results for today one as well, which is what I wanted to get done by the end of the day. Now in the personal dashboard, I've actually got, oh, <laughs> nearly dropped the camera. So now I've automated this a bit. So instead of having to change page by page, this actually changes depending on the time of the day. Right now it's the morning one, but you'll see in my automations that I have ones that change depending on time of day. So when it's 8 a.m. it shows the morning one. When it's one, uh, like 12 p.m. it shows the afternoon one. And then when it gets to four o'clock it shows my shutdown one. It's much easier to do this because I don't have multiple checklists then. Instead they just change dependent on time of day. I can go through and click them. And then I know that this is just gonna update. So I just open this dashboard every day rather than having to have multiple pages uh, to go by. Just makes life a lot easier. So vlog, here's the process I went through just to like take the people that I shortlisted and refine the, dis the shortlisted down to one or two candidates that I think were a really good fit. I did this by just saying, thanks for your proposal. I've shortlisted you and a few others just to let them know that they're in the, the next stage. And then I just asked two questions. What do they value in life? What do they want to have achieved in the next year? This not only helps me understand what sort of person they are, but also I can figure out how good their English is because I think a big problem on Upwork is there's a big culture of copying and pasting proposals. I have no idea if they've spent hours writing that proposal message that they then just fire out to people or they spent the time to reply to my job posting personally. So the main thing here is I want to do a test of their English and the best way to do that is to ask them these two questions because they ask for detailed responses that allow me to see how they write. Also, what do they value in life? Are their values similar to mine? And what are their goals for the year as well? I want somebody who's ambitious. I don't want somebody who isn't very focused on growth because at the end of the day, they're not gonna put being put their 120% into a job otherwise. So here's an example by Tanya of a response that wasn't very well thought out, I thought anyway, it was just short and it wasn't very, I don't think she spent a lot of time doing it. Whereas if I go to uh, Russell, he gave a more detailed response and I got a good judge of his English as well. As you can see here, he gave a couple paragraphs, which was really good to read about what he does and why he does it. The same with Verity. She gave a really detailed answer. It allowed me to see a lot more about her, her personality, and gives me a good idea of the kind of person I'd be working with if I decided to move forward with her. So as you can speak, see, I spoke to quite a few people with this uh, question and answer kind of format. And out of that, I shortlisted Verity and Russell. Now, Verity was very kind and she offered to do the job for a reduced rate. And therefore I decided to go with her because her command of English is quite good. And as well as that, the price that she was charging was very good. If you guys are looking to hire your own VA, I would go through this process of selecting someone and then asking them a couple of questions to make sure that they're the right fit for your company. 
A big thing that I did for Verity was leave her instructions on what she would need to do and at what time she would need to do it, making sure that we're both aligned on the job at hand and not leaving anything to guesswork. I gave her examples of what she should leave in regards to comments. This is an example of me commenting on a post that I can't talk much about. So I just leave a generic comment. As well as that, I told her that I want to ask questions to spur the conversation on. So on some posts, it's worth asking people what tips or what would they advise to help move the conversation forward easily. And I also told her that on my posts, I always want to ask people a question to help get a reply. The more comments you have guys on your post from people, the more the algorithm is gonna show your post to other people on the network. In this case, when it was came to Heather, she said some great tips. I can't really say much apart from that. So I always wanna just say thank you to somebody for leaving their comment because it's just polite and they took the time to do it as well. In this case, with this comment, I want Verity to understand that if people are asking this stuff, I want us, I want, my, I want myself to ask a question that spurs them to give me a reply so I can get some more comments on my post, build some engagement and show people that there are conversations happening on my post. I then got her to log into my account as a test before everything happens so that we know if there's any bumps in the road. And as well as that, I got her WhatsApp so she can fire me messages directly or give me a call if there's any issues that happen. Finally, you guys have always seen this in the previous vlog episodes, but I have my marketing document with the posts all laid out, ready for Verity to copy and paste into LinkedIn for me. This reduces guesswork again, because it's all just set up here, ready for go, ready for her to go. I've also left comments down at the bottom if I need to talk to her about something personal. I would highly recommend onboarding your VA into your task manager so you can set tasks for them to do stuff overall. Keep an eye out, there's some good content this week on there, LinkedIn. So this week's review, I uh, just looked at finishing up the landing page, which I did. Uh, I need to apply some copy that my brother wrote for me and then we can copy that over to the main website. New website launch, not done, needs to be done next week, which is something that's gonna be a big focus of mine. The main thing was finishing this landing page and getting that done, which I'm really happy with. And I've already copied components over for the new website, so this should be out next week by the time you watch the next vlog. Automated marketing, where we did all that stuff with Verity this week and got our VA hired. So that was a successful week for me. In terms of marketing, I'm still skipping out on uh, Instagram at the moment, which is dive bombing my stats. But um, if you look, you can still see that my YouTube's growing, website traffic is still growing, and our LinkedIn is pumping. So still trying to focus on LinkedIn now. Uh, the data is really skewed because I got a fucking massive post, but still getting good post views overall. So I'm really happy with how the marketing has been going, considering we only started in September vlog. So yeah, happy about that. So a positive that I'll pull out for this week is I did my first live stream, remade the personal dashboard. Really enjoyed that, guys. And um, I'm going to do another one next week as well. Something that I've allowed to slip over the past couple of weeks because I've been trying to do this, that and everything else is four hour deep work sessions. So next week I'm more focused on actually having a four hour deep work session where I'm just doing marketing and that should be reflected in the end of the week review as to how that went. But um, as well as that, I realized that I've come up with a better process for creating videos now. And next week I actually want to put that together. So I have a good research, planning, and then doing kind of process. So that when I'm putting together these shorter videos, not the vlog, they're a bit more thought out and I write a script for it and get all the content that I need together. That's the end of this week's vlog. If you aren't subscribed, please do. Only 50% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel at the moment. So if you can leave a like, leave a subscribe, and let me know in the comments, what is your biggest plan for 2022? What are you going to be doing? to grow your agency, grow your business, and let me know. Um, be interested to see. See you later. Bye.